This is why fighters eat so much after a fight and often gain so much weight, and it's to do with the mindset thing. So when you're training for the fight, you want to leave no stone unturned. You want to tick every box. You want to get the boxing session, the jiu-jitsu session, the wrestling sessions, the positional focused MMA sparring, the open MMA sparring. You want to get the road work in. You want to get the cardio in. You want to get the strength and conditioning in. You want to get the bag work in, the pad work. You want to leave no stone unturned and you want to tick every box. Then you have your fight, fingers crossed you win, and you get to eat again after eat like a normal person. But you've got to leave no stone unturned. You've got to eat everything. So you want to have that starter. You want those chicken wings. You want that garlic bread. Then you get the main course and you get in the Manjaro's pomo, but it can't just be a regular pomo. It's got to be the spicy bolognese pomo because you want those extra toppings and then you've got to get more sides with it. You've got to get a little bit of a pizza on the side as well to make sure you're getting every box, maybe a bit of kebab. And then afterwards you've got to have dessert. You can't have that meal and then not have cheesecake after. And then you're walking home and you're going past that shop that sells all the baklava in the window and it's really nice. You get a full box of baklava, so you're eating that baklava in bed and you're still a bit hungry, so you have a bit of cereal, just to see you off into the night. And there, there you go, it's just the same, the same mindset that you have in training, leave no stone unturned, that you have to scranning like an idiot.